do to meditate? You like is it is it a certain form of meditation or yeah? So I've been slacking. Oh, it's not those people that are in the gym. They okay. go, uh, no, I know it's good for me, and I should do it. I want the six pack abs, but I just don't have time. Right. Like I will tell you, I went through a a phase in my life where I was like more de- more depressed and down than ever, and I'm like, man, I don't like people. I don't like to feel this the way that I feel right now. Like, how can I change this? And I started to research positive psychology and uh, interpersonal neurobiology and the way that our brains and our emotions affect us. And, Dude, it was, a, it was a great endeavor. But my basic strategy, and what I tell most people that are learning to uh, meditate, is I talk about triangular breathing. And I talk about visualizations. Yeah, so, I'm big on visualization and meditation yeah. with that. Yeah? yeah? Oh, dude. So I'll give you the quick overview of like what, what I did and what was most successful to me. And right. then you tell me like the, the things that you did that were amazing. Because briefly, what I would do is I would do triangular breathing. I would focus, you're focused on two, we'll say three things. The first is you got to be empathetic and you got to be compassionate with where you're at right now. Like, yeah. don't like, oh, fuck, I lost my attention. God, you're such an idiot piece of shit. How do you, you're 10 seconds in, there's a first breath and you're already losing well, I, tell my, I, I tell myself I'm a piece of shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> if it's got you where you are now. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm not even joking. There's things well, one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to learn to be compassionate with yourself. Yes, like, and, and that's why I tell myself I'm a piece of shit because I, I realize I'm still learning. Yes. At 35 years How about old, this? I'm still fucking learning. You, you think you're a piece of shit, but you're actually a great person because you're still learning. So look to reframe that. You're not a piece of shit. You're human. Yeah. You're still learning. And Make you're mistakes. one of the best because you're learning. Yeah. So find a way to rephrase that. I know it's getting a positive effect for you, but if you can take a way to rephrase that so it's not in a negative context of you're a piece of shit, you're a learning motherfucker. Right. Like you want to be negative a little bit? Like you're a learning and growing motherfucker. Go get it, you learning, growing motherfucker. Instead of, I'm, no, no, you're not a piece of shit. Yeah. You're a dude that overcomes and perseveres. So let's get, that, get rid of the negativity. But what I would do, I visualize on vivid images. So pick a spot you love. For me, I spent a little time on a beach in, a, in Hawaii, kind of Bali. Love the place. So I see myself right on the beach with the raging waters out in front of me and I'm sitting there. So when you're breathing, I'm doing triangular breathing. So I'm breathing in for five seconds. I'm holding for five seconds, and then I'm releasing for five seconds. So the way that I would look if you bring colors in, I'm breathing through my nose, into my belly, into my body, orange, amber energy that's fucking making me strong, making me powerful. So as you breathe that orange, amber energy into your body, you breathe it in for five seconds, and then I'm holding it down in my stomach and letting it emanate through my body for five seconds. So I'm literally visualizing in my third eye. So if you can see yourself sitting in this room, if we were sitting here, yeah, I would be on a beach. You'd see sand, you'd see waves lapping up maybe on my feet. And you'd see me breathing in this orange energy from the environment around me, making my body strong, making me grow. And you'd see me holding in my stomach and just glowing, making me strong, healing anything that was bothering me. And then what you see in the third is you see blue energy coming out of my spine, up into the negative energy out in the atmosphere, Fuck which yeah. everybody else in the world uses as fertilizer that grows the relationships and makes everything better. So then I start to cycle over again. Just draw it in. Breathe in for five. Yeah. I'm going to hold it in my belly tight, let it emanate Breathing my Breathing techniques, body. man. Fuck yeah. And then I'm going to release out my spine as I push my belly button into my spine. Any negative thoughts, things that irritate me, pissing me off, dude, cut me off in traffic, whatever it Fuck is. Fuck that guy, right? Left me a <laughs> shitty review, thought I was a cocksucker, I look like a pussy, whatever it is. <laughs> Blow it straight in the atmosphere. Yeah. And that negative, that bullshit, the rest of the world is going to feed off of, and they're going to grow, and they're going to do the same thing, and the cycle's going to repeat. How, how insignificant are we? Mm. I mean, you got deep right there. How insignificant are we? are the most we? significant thing in the universe, in the world. There's nothing beyond our reality and the lives that we're living. So, like, I like the nihilist approach that nothing matters and we're just here for nothing. But at the end of the day, this is the only experience you're going to get. So whether you want to philosophize on what happens to us afterwards... You know what you're here for, dude? Enjoy the moment. You know what you're here for? What am I here for? To pass this on to your son. Oh, absolutely. Fuck yeah. Yeah. That's fucking... Yeah. So... Visualization for me. What's up? Oh yeah, go ahead. By all means. Go ahead. Yeah. We just yeah. got deep. Yeah. We just yeah. got deep. Yeah. Visualization for me, bro. Right? 
I'm a huge fucking believer in um, seeing what you want to achieve. So oh, yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. I, yeah. So the first time I ever hit 405 on bench, I uh, the the first night I tossed and I fucking turned and left and right. And I couldn't fucking think. And next day I went in. Not only did I hit it once, I hit it twice. Right. I was like, fuck yeah. So the other day at the gym, I hit 405 for, for fucking five reps, right? And I looked at my buddy, I said, what do you think? He goes, 495, bro. Throw him an extra 45, let's fucking do this. And so for the next two minutes, I did nothing but visualize 495. 495. Not, not me pressing it, just the number. Just the number. Got underneath that motherfucker, and I hit it. Oh, and it was just like, it, it, to me, it, that's been my dream. 495 has been my dream since I started lifting. Yeah. And I was like, ha, ah, I did it. Monkey yeah. off my back. Bro. Monkey that's off my back. Yeah. You know? So, uh, like you said, visual, visualization is everything. 100%. So, how'd you feel? How'd you feel after you moved that weight? Sore as fuck. Really? <laughs> it's almost yeah. five, dude. Five pounds off of off of fucking five hundred pounds, bro. I'm two hundred thirty-eight. <laughs>